Hi all, today we'll be talking about SmartBear's Swagger Hub and Amazon API Gateway. Swagger Hub is an enterprise API design and documentation platform for software developers to build, document, and manage their APIs. It is designed for teams. These teams create standards that keep errors from slipping through. Collaboration is secure and painless because you can do it all in one place. Documentation is easy to share and understand so users know how to use your API, adopt it faster, which can lead to monetization and productization of the APIs. Let's look at some benefits of Amazon API Gateway and Swagger Hub. So Swagger Hub has some real strengths and comprehensive API design. So you wanna provide a collaborative platform for designing, documenting, and testing APIs using an open API specification. Users can create well-defined API contracts that adhere to said industry standards. API documentation and visualization. Swagger Hub automatically generates interactive API doc documentation from the open API spec, making it easy for developers to understand API endpoints, parameters, and responses. Mocking and testing. Swagger Hub also enables developers to generate mock APIs based on the API design, allowing them to simulate endpoints and responses for testing purposes. This allows us to test and develop the API asynchronously. Amazon API Gateway has some great strengths in scalability and performance. The Gateway provides a scalable and reliable platform for hosting and managing APIs with features like caching, rate limiting, and throttling. Developers can optimize the API performance and ensure consistent user experience. Security and authorization. The Gateway offers robust security features, including authentication, authorization, and encryption to protect API from unauthorized access. Monitoring and analytics. Amazon API Gateway provides built-in monitoring and analytic tools that track API usage, performance metrics, and error rates in real time. By leveraging the strengths of Swagger Hub and Amazon API Gateway together, developers can streamline the API development lifecycle, improve collaboration, and deliver high quality APIs that meet the needs of their users and stakeholders. Let's take a look at some integrated workflows using the tooling together. There are two main workflows that we see with Amazon API Gateway and Swagger Hub. The first is a design first API approach. Users will create the API in Swagger Hub or in another tool and then publish that tool directly to the Amazon API Gateway. Once it's published to the Gateway, we have the ability to interact with mocks. We have the ability to interact with Lambda functions. And once we go to Lambda functions, we have the ability to you know, interact with other AWS services, RDS, S3, anything alike. The code first approach is when the API is already in the at existing atmosphere. So for example, you're going to take your API from Amazon API Gateway and publish it to Swagger Hub. There would be some feedback loops in both of these. For example, the API and Amazon API Gateway you want to perform some of those standards uh, against it. You want to take those standards, make sure it follows up to the standard OWASP top 10 security protocol. You want to make sure that it has the 200 responses in all of its um, examples. All of that data can be done through Swagger Hub compared to the Amazon API Gateway. Let's look at these integrations now itself too. Here we see Swagger Hub, our repository, our library of all of our APIs that we have. I'm specifically going to go into a specific project and look at a number of APIs. Creating APIs, importing APIs is extremely easy through the user interface. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at an existing API. So we'll look at this pet store API. This pet store API, as you can see, has the interactive interface here. You can click on individual API calls, try them out in the UI, execute them, make sure your API is working as you expect it to. You can also export your API documentation to real server side or client side SDKs or stubs to really start building applications. But what we're going to do is we're going to publish this directly to Lambda. So we have two integrations that work with Amazon API Gateway. The Amazon API Gateway integration utilizes a mock API as the back end. The Amazon API Gateway Lambda Sync will use a Lambda integration as the back end. So anytime we make a change, anytime we save, anytime anything like that happens in Swagger Hub, 
the API that is hosted in Amazon API Gateway will automatically get updated. So let's go and look in Amazon API Gateway at specifically the Lambda function that we were just looking at. So here is our API. When you interact, integrate with Swagger Hub to Amazon API Gateway, it will take that API, publish it directly to the gateway, and then on the back end, every single endpoint, every single resource has a function associated to it. So this is how we go and start building our application, really start productizing, monetizing our APIs, turning them into real services, integrating with S3, RDS, and really building out those specific workflows. The other way that we integrate with Amazon API Gateway, like I mentioned, is through uh, a mock service at the end. So instead of a Lambda request, you can see it's the HTTP integration where we are going to be referencing a mock directly from Swagger Hub. I hope this was useful and have a nice rest of your day.